My great-grandfather used to cut hair as a living. He took care of the family that way. Out of that inspiration, I, I uh, felt compelled to carry on that tradition. My name is Lillian Lam. I'm an owner stylist here at the b uh, Salon. I was an assistant for about two years. I worked my way up until I was a manager for a salon. My weakest flaw was cutting hair for men. I decided to go work for a barber shop. That added on more um, and opened more exposure and opened up more doors for me. About 10 years ago, I have actually opened um, a five station salon in Sacramento. It was it a was really hard time to open a business, but I did it anyway. Then decided that uh, after three years, I wanted to move into the city in San Francisco. When I opened my salon, what domain, what name do I want? My wife, my partner says, you know, you're the one who do everything. Why don't you just name it after yourself? I was really happy to see that it was actually available. So I jumped on it. I said, this is it, this is my name. It's me who I wanted to brand. This is my space. I love to um, set my space and make it really relaxing and inviting and warm, welcoming to some guests coming in. This is where I have all of my colors. This is a Japanese shears. This is usually what I use to cut on my clients, um, as well as my clippers. These are my tools. In this clear path, you know, there's a lot of stylists that just mainly focuses on, on something, where it's like just as colorist, or you know, a barber, or just someone just strictly styles. For me, I'm, I'm very universal. I like to have open doors for all. How are you? We're still growing out the hair, right? Yes, yeah, still growing out the hair. So you want to still do, continue the undercut? Yes, yeah. that's yeah. exactly what I would like to do. I love all my clients. I, right now I have equal, I have female and, and males. I call them my guests. There's so more of my guests, and some of them become a, you know, close friends. I mean, I couldn't ask for anybody different. They're, they're so amazing. I'm a mom. I have a 17-year-old, 14, and soon will be 13. Juggling your own salon and, and also being a mom was, it was definitely a lot of challenges, but every day I feel like there was a, a good challenge. You find some common, you know, balances that you can figure out. Before, I used to think my work is my life. I learned to make sure that's only 10% of my life. The 90% is family. It's, it's, my, it's my, my kids, it's my wife, it's my dogs. <laughs> that's the 90% of it, um, which makes me feel the 10% of my work life flourishes. I've used GoDaddy before. I had my website back in 2008. Once I opened my studio here and worked for myself back in March 2017, it's when I decided, I remember GoDaddy. I, I remember the website they helped build for me back then, it was great. So that was the first thing that popped in my mind because once I signed on, I figured out how easy everything was. GoDaddy really break it down really very um, plain and simple. Um, do you want people to be able to book online? Add this feature. Do you want someone to link to your social media? Add this feature. It's just a click of a button, um, and it made it really easy, especially you know for someone like me who balances my own studio, um, my kids. It's just the one less thing that I have to worry about. <laughs> to be an entrepreneur is being able to have the flexibility to be um, a, a wife and a, a mom of my kids. Um, having having that flexibility is really amazing because I can say that I was there. I didn't miss out because mom is at work. I really do think that if you put out what you really want, the right clients or guests will walk into that door. It is what you put out there and it's what you accept.